क्वेश्चन नंबर 293, 2x square dy by dx is equal to xy plus y square. So, rearranging, we get 2x square dy by dx minus xy equal to y square. Now, if you divide throughout by 2x square y square, we get y raised to minus 2 dy by dx minus uh, 1 by 2x y raised to minus 1 equal to 1 by 2x square. So now this is in the Bernoulli's equation form and now we can use the substitution minus y raised to minus 1 equal to v. Let's call this equation 1 and the substitution 2. So if you differentiate both sides of equation 2 with respect to x, we get y raised to minus 2 into dy by dx equal to dv by dx. 3. Now using 2 and 3 in 1, we have mm, dv by dx plus v by 2x is equal to 1 by 2x square. Now this is in the standard form of a linear differential equation. Standard form being dv by dx plus pv equal to q. Where p and q should be either constants or functions of x alone. Here p is 1 by 2x and q is 1 by 2x square. So both are functions of x alone. Integrating factor in such equations are given by e raised to integral p dx, which is e raised to integral 1 by 2x dx, which is uh, e raised to 1 by 2 log x or root x. We will get our integrating factor as root x. Now, solution to such differential equation is given by v into integrating factor is equal to integral factor into q dx plus t. So we have v into root x is equal to integral uh, root x into q is 1 by 2x square. So 1 by 2x square dx plus so further simplifying this, we have v root x is equal to integral. So here power 1 by 2 and here we have minus 1 by minus 2. So power becomes minus 3 by 2. So we can write this as 1 if you take 1 by 2 outside x raised to minus 3 by 2 dx plus c. So we have v into root x is equal to 1 by 2 into so integral x raised to minus 3 by 2 is minus 3 by 2 plus 1 is minus 1 by 2 by minus 1 by 2 plus t or we could write this as v into root x is equal to 2 2 cancels minus 1 by root x plus so using 2, we know v equal to minus 1 by y, right? Using 2, we have v equal to minus 1 by y. So using that, we have uh, minus 1 by y into root x is equal to minus 1 by root x plus c. So if you multiply throughout by minus root x, we have x by y is equal to minus root x. So this becomes 1 plus t c1 root x where c1 equal to minus c. Another arbitrary constant. So our final answer is hmm, this x by y equal to 1 plus c1 root x. 
these are the steps solution to question number 293